<clears throat> guys, shame on those people when still there under their parents' house. Not be smart, you know. As for me, Romy Picking, God don't give me the grace. I still there under my junior brother. My people not the juju be that. <laughs> well, guys, we could go straight to the reason why we are here. Asari Coconut, aka 70 years old man, my people. When I know say I first dropped this man update a few days back. I don't know the reason why this man dislike Igbos like this. This man is like, you know, no say Nigeria no feel as a Nigeria no feel day well without Igbos. So. This man don't know the contribution when Igbos they contribute for inside Nigeria. When I know I don't know whether many I don't know how many of you know bush pig. When I know bush pig as Zana, that meat when they always they do home. <clears throat> At least if I never see the bush pig own, at least the one day I say, man, that they train for house, all those normal pig. I believe a lot of Funago don't see him. If I just see that thing, eh, I will just see this man. Always, anytime they watch a video, they always they make me laugh. Why they always they laugh on is that the way they they speak for body, the way as an instant when this man go, they take care of him safe. He carry both people matter for head. Well, guys, make when I just watch this video, where this man for the abuse he boss. I they watch this video, I say show. Well, guys, make one let me share this video and make one not fail to let me know what you not think for the comment section. What goes you now for the next update coming out soon? Respect, one love, guys. A great pity. It's really, really a great pity. But I think as time goes on, Igbos will continue to relegate themselves to the lowest class of citizens of Nigeria. Just watch it. Igbos will continue in their effort to relegate themselves as the lowest class of citizens in this country. They are not going anywhere. They won't even go anywhere. For the unity of this country, I came out that the Southeast should have the Senate presidency. Since you people said you don't want, okay. Don't want it. Don't want it. And nobody will give it to you. Nobody will give you the presence. Nobody will give you anything. You continue to cry. Mark this word that I'm saying it. You continue to try. Every day you will be going down. In this country. Mark my word. Every blessed day. Associating with evils turn out in most times with regret. Because they are an insatiable people. Very, very insatiable. But that's not the issue today. You said you don't want Senate President. Okay, good. The people who want it will take it. Continue abusing me for saying Southeast should take Senate presidency. So uh, Tinibu has abandoned me. I've started crying. They have left me. Am I a Southeasterner? And it's, it's not good. It's, it's, it's good. This is the last time in my life I will come out to speak for Igbo people, even if they are being massacred, as they are going to be massacred if because of their behavior in most, in most cases. When lie be lie, this is the last time. I will not support, I will keep mute whatever happened to Igbo people. An Igbo man come out to do anything, I will never, never support an Igbo man for anything in my life. Never. Never. On personal relationship with Igbos, uh, there are Igbos, I have personal relationship with, okay. But this is the interest of Igbo people, and I am in a position to give support. <laughs> can't be out. I will never do it. Even if the whole world supports you, me, I will never support you. Because you don't deserve any support from anybody. You 
you don't deserve any support from anybody. You are the worst of human beings. The worst of human beings on the surface of the earth. But that's for another day. It is very, very wrong for Governor Yari of Zamfara State to come up to say, <laughs> I know be anybody on my uh, status. Governor Yari, Senator Yari, you know that your conscience should tell you that what you are demanding for is wrong. You did not vote. What vote did you bring for the for Ahmed Balatinibu? You want to ride on the back of the people, the ordinary people of the northwest of Sanfara, to reap benefit where you don't have it. Please, Yeri, kill your ambition. It is not going to help the cause of Jacobin. Just kill it. And there is no need for this crisis. There is no need for this destruction. Just kill your ambition. It's not right for you to do so. Yes, everybody is, um, is free to aspire for whatever office under the Constitution of the Republic of Nigeria. But people like you who have held public office should know that there are certain offices you cannot aspire for. You and your wife cannot aspire for governor and deputy governor in Zamfara State, or president and vice president in Nigeria. Your wife is free to aspire, you are free to aspire. How are you going to justify your aspiration? It doesn't prick your conscience when you come up to say you are aspiring to become Senate President. It doesn't prick your conscience. The realities on the ground alone and if you have any love for Asura Jam and Bola Tinibu, you will not even come out to say you want to aspire. My friend, I'm using an iPhone Pro Mass 13, so stop talking. That's the phone I'm using. So, there's no basis for this aspiration. There's no basis whatsoever for this aspiration. This is the aspiration. There's no basis for it. You are just an interloper. You want to set confusion. What all of us want is the success of the government of Ahmed Bola Tinibu, not to come here and play politics. It is the success. of Ahmed Bola Tinibu, a success which we pray daily for. Because it is God that put Ahmed Bola Tinibu there, not you, not me, not anybody. Christian Prince is a, is a, your people say they don't want it, they've been blowing it out of proportion, they've been abusing me that I'm crying, 
because Tinubu had abandoned me as if I'm the person who wants to become Senate President. That's all manner of things that I confess. I confess that uh, I read the lesson for Tinubu and now Tinubu had abandoned me. All manner of rubbish. In all my life, I have never supported somebody based on what I will gain. I have done things that others are afraid to do. I tried to scream.